1411, in Ludbreg, Croatia, in the chapel of the Count Bathany's castle, a priest was celebrating Mass. During the consecration of the wine, the priest doubted the truth of transubstantiation. Immediately after being consecrated, the wine turned into blood. Not knowing what to do, the priest embedded this relic in the wall behind the main altar. The workman who did the job was sworn to silence. Shortly before the priest died, the priest decided to reveal his secret. The news spread quickly, and people started coming on pilgrimage to Ludbreg. The Vatican Holy See later had the relic of the miracle brought to Rome, where it remained for several years. The people of Ludbreg and the surrounding area, however, continued to make pilgrimages to the castle chapel. In the early 1500s, during the pontificate of Pope Julius II, a commission was convened in Ludbreg to investigate the facts concerning the Eucharistic miracle. Many people testified that they had received marvelous cures while praying in the relic's presence. On April 14, 1513, Pope Leo X published a bull permitting veneration of the holy relic, which he himself had carried in procession several times through the streets of Rome. The relic was later returned to Croatia. In the 18th century, northern Croatia was ravaged by the plague. The people turned to God to call upon his help, and the Croatian parliament did the same. During the session, held on December 15, 1739, in the city of Varuzdin, they vowed to build a chapel in Ludbreg in honor of the miracle if the plague ended. The plague was averted, but the promised vow was only fulfilled in 1994, when democracy was finally restored in Croatia. In 2005, in the Vodage Chapel, an artist painted a large fresco of the Last Supper, in which Croatian saints and blesseds were drawn in place of the apostles. St. John was replaced with Blessed Ivan Merz, who was included among the 18 most important Eucharistic saints in the Church's history during the Synod of Bishops on the Eucharist held in Rome in 2005. In the painting, Christ is holding in his hand a monstrance containing the relic of this miracle. Today, the precious relic of the miraculous blood still draws thousands of the faithful. And every year at the beginning of September, Holy Sunday is celebrated, or an entire week in honor of the Eucharistic miracle that occurred in 1411.